Hey guys, welcome back to Daily Duel. So today is Wednesday. That means we are using Marmo. Marmo. Wow. Why did I lose connection? My internet is cool. I don't, I don't know. Step Pro is weird. Let's get another duel and get it back. Okay, let's try this again. Step Pro being weird. Anyway, today is uh, Wednesday. Of course, we're using Marmo. So, uh, for those of you who are new to my channel because you came from Nexus channel, once welcome. So this is Daily Duels, each day a duel with a different deck, and as you can, as I stated before, this is Marmal Day. Yes, Wednesday is Marmal Day. Wow, I'm getting all the best pikes, man, I don't mind getting all the best pikes, so yes, I did Unroll Decree and my Marmal deck because uh, this deck is more monster effect related and I like to do that. Okay, well, I don't care about that. Just like that. So, also, in these videos, if you're new to my channel, I talk generally, I talk about my day, I'm, I'm a full-time college student, so I, you know, I talk about you know, what's going on in my life, etc, etc. So you just summon a 22 beater. Like, okay. You're really background aligned, aren't you? I'm gonna play this right now. Seven fucking tools. Okay. Not wiretap. Seven tools. Interesting. Interesting. Divine Wrath. It's the Divine Wrath. Okay. Alright. Cool story, bruh. Cool story, bruh. This guy's just burning up through resources like crazy. Huh, what do I want to do? I have plays, but I'm not sure what I want to do with it. Yeah, I'll go ahead and some yeah. you. Put you in defense with your nice big old booty. A nice big old butt. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, I'll summon you. I'll take the damage. I'll go ahead and ram into you and take the damage so I can summon. Unless that other, unless that last piece back or something stopped me. Sakuretsu armor. Oh, cool story, bro. I still get my effect. You should run D prison instead. Nah, I don't want to kill you. I don't want to kill you. I want you. I like you, and I want you. So we can do this the easy way or the hard way. The choice is yours. Okay, I see you want it the hard way. I'm a warrior. Thank you. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I got one damn card left. Ah, I'll take it slow. You want to soccer into your armor, your monster? Go ahead. I don't care. Go ahead, play it. Play it. Not bitch. Anyway, let me get started talking. So, uh,. I want to talk about my Tuesday because I always talk about the previous day. That's how it works. So on Tuesdays, talk about my Monday. On Wednesdays, talk about Tuesday, and you know, etc., 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 etc. So no. <laughs> so yes, Wednesday I talk about my Tuesday. So Tuesdays I have women's studies. I know for those of you who knew my my channel like women's studies really like yes women's studies i mean women's studies i need a third social science it's an easy a for the most part yeah uh it's more of an emotional class as you could probably tell it's you know it's class based on women therefore there's not a lot of logic and there's not a lot of you know if you just put your two cents in you know it's not too much work so i totally don't mind that i totally don't mind you also where was it me because i'm still up on resources i'm chill with it Go ahead. Whoever the fuck is typing me on Skype is typing me on Skype like crazy. Like, turn that shit off. Stop typing me on fucking Skype. Hope all your plays are worth it. Cause you burned up a shit ton of resources, so. Eh, eh, I'm gonna go ahead and tap it. Give me these two back. I can use them to start poking, and if he ever wants to, like, get rid of them, I can always just summon more. Summon more of my mermail monsters. Mermail. Yeah, use my three abyss fears. Even in the OCG now. 
Then I kind of hit the deck and then I give it right back. Like, it's just like, why? <laughs> like, what's the point of hitting shit if you're just gonna put it right back the next list? Like, you didn't even give it a couple lists and let it cool down. You just said right back. Like, okay, but that's also you for you. You're in TCC. We don't, we don't do that shit. Cards don't move for a cool minute. <laughs> a cool minute. <laughs> They looking like the magician of faith and formulas and kind of sat there for like how long? <laughs> uh, Rhoda, Rhoda's been out once since the beginning of Yu-Gi-Oh time, so... Yep, of course you surrender. Let's get another one. We're back. Alright, back. So, I'm in studies class. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, uh, I usually talk about girls because I try to flirt with a lot of girls. Sometimes it's a complete failure, but hey, you know, eventually I'll get one of them, right? So, uh, the girl I was flirting with in women's studies class, I give them nicknames because, you know, of course I don't want to, like, reveal their real names because, you know, they may not want to be, have their real names revealed on YouTube, and that's, and that's confidential. Anyway. Anyway, uh, this particular girl, I nicknamed her, uh, Kirby Girl. Easy to remember, because she likes Kirby. She also likes other video games as well. She's like really big in video games. She's really cool. Like really cool. And the only suck ass problem is, is that she has a boyfriend. So, you know, just F my life. <laughs> yes, yeah, she has a boyfriend, so, uh, really does suck, because she's really cute. She's into video games, like literally. She's really, really into video games. We talked about Kirby, we talked about Pokemon, we talked about Smash. But yeah, she's a boyfriend, so you know the struggle is so real. I'm gonna go ahead and summon my controller. And then I'm guess I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Leo. Because Leo's so strong. Leo too strong. Leo. And Leo will poke you for 31 unless you have a mirror force. In which case, if you do, go ahead. Emergency teleport. Okay. So what are you going to do? Summon like... Okay. But isn't it banished? During the end of phase, banish that monster. No. I'm not going to continue my shit. You could just get banished. Oh, fucking neg. I don't care. Okay, the 31 is not that important. I'd rather you get banished and not get anything at all. <laughs> Fuck you, Gusto. So yeah, she has a boyfriend. Sucks, cause she's 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 a nice package, nice package. Yeah, no, she has a pretty cute face. You know, she's in the video games. She has a good personality. Uh, uh, what else? So what can I say without sounding like a, a pervert? Well, she has she has she's pretty nice boobs. Her boobs are pretty big. So yeah, I should probably add that in, even though I might sound like a pervert, but. No, that's one of the qualities that some men look at. So you guys probably might want to know, you know, what's her boob size, Daniel? How big are her gazongas? I'd say probably like maybe maybe B to C cups. So, but she has a boyfriend. So what the hell am I doing looking at another another dude's girl? What's wrong with me? <laughs> anyway, there's actually another girl that I want to talk to in the class. And the nickname I gave to her is Approachable Girl, or not because I can, I just never can get an opportunity to approach her. Like, every single time I'm gonna approach her, something hinders me or something stops me, and really, it's just ridiculous. So, uh, you're probably wondering, well, did you ever approach her? But we're no! <laughs> she was standing right there. I was sitting there, you know, uh, playing on, I can't remember if I was playing on the, the, the 3DS, I was playing the Smash demo, or, or I was on my phone playing in the live jar, but I was doing something, and then I saw her walk by, and she walked in the classroom, so I was about to get up, and go walk over there, you know, introduce myself, and go talk to her, finally, and that's when Kirby Girl came around the corner, and she just started talking to me, and, you know, we just started talking, and she wouldn't go away, let's go, like, right, she doesn't know it, but she, Kirby Girl, who has a boyfriend, is clock blocking me from getting to know other women, because she's always with me, I swear to God, <laughs> I don't think she gets the message. It's really starting to get pretty bad because she's getting me in a lot of trouble and really hindering me and the ability to talk to other girls. So, it's not really something I want to go ahead and talk to her about because it, it might be kind of awkward, but yeah. Seriously, seriously hindering me.
Oh, okay. Interesting play there. Interesting play. Sig 8. Ooh! Oh yeah, he has a warrior. Wait, how did you synchro into that? Oh, it's a f what? Wait. But you're not. Oh, it counts as other synchro monsters. That's right. How the hell are you going to that? So, you're like the strong original Xien. Is that some back row? Then I'm um, cool. I'm just gonna run you over with Leo. He said it's already hard to take down Leo when you can't target him. It's really difficult to take out a Leo when you can't target him. He said, Uncle, kill my mighty stuff's cool. Cool story, bruh. Uh, so, nope, I didn't get to talk to Unproachable Girl. <laughs> I guess I'll try again Thursday. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna talk to this girl. She's super cute though. No. She's not hot. She's cute. Yeah. She's she's short. She has a nice body. She has a cute face. She's cute. And I wouldn't say she's like, oh yeah, she's so hot. Nah. That's not how she is. Uh can I wrap this doll up? It's twelve da, 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 da. nope. I'm a little bit short. A little bit. Oh, I have a base here. Never mind. Yeah, I can wrap this up. Now, what am I talking about? Uh, which one of you destroyed the set card? That's Marksman, right? Yeah. Hey, Marksman. No. Get me that. You go off, get popped. No. Oh. Okay, sure. I guess I'm not getting in this duel. I forgot I was dueling against Gustos. Hmm. Totally forgot I was dueling against this duck. Uh, I gotta figure out a way to get around him, or I could just deal with him. Okay, he'll probably eventually just summon the monster. Who? Let's just say which monster so many times. Oh, okay. Eh, fuck it. I don't like him, the idea of him deck deading, but I know there's one that's like going to send to a graveyard by like a card effect that he might eventually summon. But, right now it's not even worth the trouble. Go ahead. So, yeah. Oh, after class ended. Oh, for class, uh, we had one of the biggest projects for that class is that we gotta write a four page double space essay. Woo! Woo! I know it's so hard. Uh, it's pretty much our formal theory paper of women's studies. So like, you pretty much have to write something about what you learned in women's studies in relationship to a particular topic. It doesn't matter. Um, and <laughs> the one that I'm actually gonna do, I know, surprise, surprise, that's, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do gender and sexuality in Yu-Gi-Oh! Because, uh, you know, when you sit back and you think about it, there's a lot of different people who, different genders and different sexualities in Yu-Gi-Oh! You know? Wow, you get all three emergency teleports in one duel. Alright, cool. Cool story, bruh. Cool story, bruh. Like I said, I do not care. You gonna make a black rose? You gonna make a black rose? Go ahead. No. Okay. Oh, you're gonna make me take on the battle damage. That's cute. So you're pretty much just gonna ram all your monsters into me and then OTK me. That's cute. That's cute. That's cute. Alright, well, I guess you won this one. Your stupid means. It's like pretty much a secondary win condition, but yeah, cool story, bro. GG. So cute. So cute. Just ramming Gusto monsters to me till I lose. You're cool. Cool. You couldn't beat me the manly way. You couldn't you couldn't actually take me down. You had to do your whole secondary wind condition girly bullshit. It's cool. Cool story, bro. I don't know, I'm almost done talking. I gotta get ready for college anyway. Cause 
Uh, I'm recording this right before I head to college for uh, Wednesday. So, yeah, it's actually recorded the day of today. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to do uh, gender and sexuality in Yu-Gi-Oh! as my other say, you know. I could talk about, you know, uh, you know, women in Yu-Gi-Oh! and how, you know, if you're a girl in Yu-Gi-Oh! and you got a set of tits for a YouTube channel, you'll have way more subscribers than almost any other man in you in you get to the community community and then I could talk about some girls who are actually you no know, serious duelists and actually do good content but yet because they're a girl they're still pretty big like Star Trek duelists and then I could talk about how girls are just exploiting their sexuality like uh uh what are they uh oh my god what are those girls I forgot who they are Oh my god, I forgot who those girls are. The girls who just do deck profiles with their accents and just show off their tits. I forgot the channel. If you guys remember the channel, put it down in the comment section because I cannot, for the love of God, remember. And that's exactly why. I shouldn't have to remember them because they're not even a good channel. They're <laughs> just girls showing off their tits doing deck profiles. Ridiculous. Uh, you know, and then I talk about how it is in the male community. I can talk about uh, how it is to be, you know, homosexual. And you give me, and of course I know some uh, some androgynous, uh, some androgynous Yugi tubers. So maybe I can interview them, ask them questions, and I can talk about you know how the card game, how uh, girls should, g girls uh, get stereotyped into playing particular decks. That you know that uh, you know girls should play a uh, harpy ladies, or girls should play uh, you know. Uh, you know the girly decks. You know, and there was actually one time where I was doing badoches and a guy called me gay because I was using badoches. You know, stuff like that. Uh, there's just so many things I can talk about. Uh, you know, Pegasus from Yu-Gi-Oh. There's just so much that I can do. You know, at my, it's just a ton of things I can do. I, I can bust out that four-page essay real easy, real easy. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be working on that eventually and bust that out. Oh, uh, what else? What else? Uh. So let's just move on. End of class. Um, I'm walking with Cardi Girl. You know, the girl who has a boyfriend, so why the fuck am I still talking to her? But, you know, I guess it can give you connections, but she really doesn't seem like she knows anybody. You know, she's not that popular. She's more of a dorky girl who just happens to have a boyfriend. You know, she's cute, but I'd say that she has a boyfriend because he approached her. I doubt, you know, it was anything like that. She's probably, like, just single and, you know, you know how guys hump on it real damn quick. You know, if a girl is single, then, you know... A guy will come and snatch that up real fucking quick. Anyway, uh, I'm walking with her, and she, her next class is the D building. My class is the B building. You had to pass the, the D building and go to the B building. So I'm walking with her. We're just talking about Smash and stuff. And literally, once again, while talking to her, movie girl walks out the D building. <laughs> and once again, I'm like, oh, fuck, she's gonna see me. Cause she, I feel like she's kind of jealous. Top last time she caught me talking to another girl, she kind of gave me this look. It's just like, what? I'm not your man, woman. I'm not your man. I can't. T this, this is just my friend. Like, calm down, girl. Anyway, so I, I kind of just shoot her. I'm like, okay, yes, I gotta go. I was like, to you. She's like, oh, okay, bye. And she just what? And then I go over to the movie girl and I start talking to her. And as you guys know. When it comes to Movie Girl, I was actually worried about whether it came to me bothering her or not. You know, like, I really, pu I was really pushing to get to know her. You know, I was, I was always the one who initiated the conversations. I gave her myself a number and she has never called or texted me. So I was wondering, okay, well, if she wants me to just go away and leave her alone and not bug her, you know, just tell me, you know, I can move on. You know, I'm sitting here using all this effort on you when you clearly aren't interested. So I actually confronted her about it, you know, I didn't say it like that, but I was kind of like, you know, you know, I want to get to know you better, and, you know, I'm putting up all this effort, and I just seem like I'm bugging you, and she's like, oh, no, it's not like that, it's not like that, I'm just super busy, but, no, I like that you're getting to know me, and I'm getting to know you, and, you know, so, I guess I can continue talking to her, so that's good, because, uh, <laughs> I was kind of worried, I was kind of worried, I'm, I'm terrible with women, I'm terrible with women, just absolutely terrible so you know to know that I'm not doing terrible with this particular woman it's good it's reassuring so I guess I'll get to continue to get to know her better you know eventually maybe ask her out on a date so my next goal is to ask her for her cell phone number I mean of course it's gonna be kind of difficult to call or text her I'm not sure if she'll ever call or text me back because you know how busy she is but you know maybe eventually just ask her for her number you know uh, I thought it was kind of nicer to go ahead and give her my number and then eventually she would call or text me and then I would of course 
get her number because she calls and texts me, but that never happens. Uh, Mike has to just ask her for her number. But she might just reject because, you no, know, how pissy she is. I don't know. I don't know. Women are weird. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, pretty much it. Calculus class. We just did work. There's a cute girl in my calculus class, but I never get an opportunity to talk, let alone do anything in that class. I'm so busy doing my freaking homework because there's so much homework. Like, every single week, she gives us homework, and every single week, the homework is like six or seven pages long, and it's just work, 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 work. Either, either you're getting a new homework assignment on Tuesday, or you're turning on a homework assignment on Thursday, and it's every single week the same thing, over and over and over and over. And, it, and I don't understand why she has to give us so many problems. Like, I'm going to stop at the class and talk to the teacher about this, like... Why? Why? What What do you possibly have to get across with all these problems? And the thing is that she hasn't taught in a classroom in like a couple of years. You know, things have changed. We have more than one class. Really, calculus is just an elective to me. And you're just stacking on me. I mean, what, what can't you get across in these 10 problems that you can't get across in 5? You know, just reduce it a little. Just, you know, lower them out. You know, because... It's not that, oh, all these problems, I'm getting all this, this, uh, you know, this practice in. Oh, yeah, I'm like it. No, it's, start, it's starting to be, okay, same problem, over and over and over. Each problem taking, like, a half a page long. I'm getting burnt out. Like, literally, some of my homework, I don't even finish the problem. I literally just do, like, maybe, like, you know, like, seven-eighths of the work, and I don't even finish the last of the problem. I'm like, nope, no, nope, I'm burnt out. I don't, I don't want to do this anymore. And that's exactly how the, the mentality, not only me, but the other students in the classroom are getting, where we don't want to finish our problems because there's so many. We got The quicker we just get done this round, the quicker we can move on to the next one, you know? But if she just go ahead and just picks out, like, five math problems from each section, so five math problems from this section, five math problems from this section, and her own five math problems, you can't get the cross of that. But instead of, like, 20, 20 in, the, in all these math problems, because you get burnt out on that. I'm sorry. Calculus takes a while to do. And you get burnt out on it. And, and no one wants to sit here for hours on end doing the same problem over and over and over. You can get the point across with lower math problems. And the funny thing is, I want to be a math teacher. So when I'm, gonna, I'm learning from my own lesson. When I become the math teacher... My students are going to get a whole bunch of problems. I'm not going to throw, like, the freaking math book at them and be like, do 1 through 50, all of them. Like, no. No, you'll probably get, like, maybe, like, 5 to 10 math problems each night. Simple. Go home, bang them out. And, then, and what I mean by 5 to 10, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be teaching algebra. So, yeah, bang them out. I'm going to pick the right ones, and you're going to learn the lesson. And see, you know, I don't need you to do all of these math problems because I know how much you, I know that you have other classes. You know, I know that. This isn't your only class. I understand that. I've been in their seats. Therefore, I know. I'm not going to throw a whole bunch of math problems at you and make you do math homework all night that you don't have the opportunity to do other homework or socialize in your own life. You know, because I know I was in your seats. I know how it feels. So I'm, I'm definitely not going to ask. So I'm going to go ahead and talk to her, the teacher about it and just be like, you know, or the professor about it. Just be like, you know, maybe, maybe cut down the number of problems a little bit. No, I, 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 I know, I know, it's kind of hard, it's kind of, it's going to be kind of hard for her, but, you know, if I explain it, she'll understand, she'll understand. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, just came home, you know, finally got the video uploaded to Vex's channel, some people liked it, some people didn't, you know, everybody's a critic, you know. You know, some people are like, oh yeah, this deck is pretty good. Or some people just comment on the music. Or some people are just like, oh, this deck is shit. And she's like, yeah, if you say so. I mean, I used it on Daily Duels and it worked out pretty fine. So, whatever, dude. Make your own deck, you know. You, know, you don't have to take my deck at face value. But like I said, everybody's a critic. It's, the, it's the, literally the worst thing about guest help living. Is that everybody is a fucking critic. Everybody. And I was just like, oh, this isn't right, this isn't right, then change it and do your own shit. This is what I liked. This does not have to be what everybody likes. This is what I'm doing. You know, this duck is terrible. It makes my eyes hurt. Really? Really? What kind of freaking attitude is that? What's the point of even sharing in this Yugi? Yugi tuning community is so fucking terrible. It's the one of the main reasons why I kind of like to just stay on my own, own channel and do my own thing because I know that I'm just going to get fucking criticized as soon as I try to take a step out of the damn door. That's the reason why, but you know, 
you know, I, I donated to Lexus's channel, you know, he put me in the description box, I get together both well, sometimes, well, go ahead and take the opportunity to pick up a couple subscribers, right? So, as I said, if you're new to my channel, welcome. You'll be getting videos like this every day. I could have probably done another duel with all this talking, but just know that generally these videos end with a lot of talking, so if you want to just go ahead and close the video out, you only came here for the duel, and that's cool. But, yeah, some people do like me when I talk, you know, vlogs. Alright, so, that's pretty much it. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. So, um, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support. I will see you guys tomorrow, for those of you who are new to my channel. Um, on Thursdays, I duel with one of my friends named Tiago. He doesn't have a mic, so we just tag and it's just me talking. And I, of course, I will be talking about my how my Wednesday went. And I will be using a deck called Pendulum Chaos Dragons. So, look forward to it. So, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.